guys welcome back to my channel my name is Pilumi thank you for joining me on another tutorial video if it's your first time coming across my channel thank you for tuning in please do subscribe to my channel and yes a big thank you to all my new subscribers thank you so much welcome to the family of the DIY Pilumi secrets yeah let's just <laughs> let's just stop it there okay so today's video is a craft video, no sewing machine involved. I made a plant basket, a plant, plant holder from scrap fabric. I'm trying to get rid of that huge box <laughs> of scrap fabric I have, which I'm sure you saw in my uh, previous tutorial where I made like a, a picture out of, what am I saying? I made fabric afro picture frame what art something like that if you haven't watched it please click on the link in the description box or in the i button um so yeah i'm trying to get rid of my scrap fabric so i actually saw something like this when i went to get my plants i saw a basket like this it was made out of well it wasn't multicolored like this it was made out of like brown tones but it was fabric it's like that's an idea i can make it i can save me some it was 150 rand i can save me some 150 rand okay i probably even saved like 100 rand actually because i had to buy the rope and the the glue stick so that was like 50 rand everything so i saved like 100 rand in making my own basket and i had fun while doing it that's the beauty and joy of diy i'm doing things yourself so, okay, so i made this if you want to see how i made this um scrap fabric basket which i think can serve different purposes not just as a plant basket but i'm using it as a plant holder please do continue watching subscribe like i said like the video please do share thank you so much it helps me yes um yeah what else and i'll see you in my next video bye guys so here are the scrap fabrics i'm going to be using i already cut them um in strips but they are not the same width. They are different widths, but um, fairly equal. So you can just cut up your scrap fabrics like this. You also need like a mold, something that you want to replicate the shape of. I'm using this um, planter as well. It's an old one. Um, and then you also need ropes. I wanted ski. No, I wanted twine ropes, but I ended up getting ski ropes because I couldn't find twine ropes. Uh, so, I, but I think it worked out well. So you can just get a new thick rope that you can find. You also need your glue gun and glue sticks, as well as parchment paper and scissors. So this is the longest part of this project. It's wrapping the fabric around the rope, but um, as you go along, you get used to it, and you just keep on wrapping, wrapping, wrapping. Uh, so make sure that you are applying. The glue as you wrap around if not the fabric will unravel um, and you need to make sure that you're also wrapping the fabric tightly around the rope so keep on applying the glue as you go along and um, so I, I thought it'd be good to fold the fabric as I wrap but then as I went along I just I stopped folding and I just kept on overlapping the fabric on each on on itself and that um, closed up the raw ends so you can just keep wrapping wrap till you have enough um, rope to serve as the base of the plant basket So when I had enough rope that I was sure would be sufficient for the bottom of my um, molds, I cut the rope off and, um, and I'm just going to wrap the rope in a spiral way 
to create the base of the basket and so I just fold it in a circle just a spiral and I glue to hold it in place and I just keep wrapping like that in a circle and don't forget to glue as well So just keep checking that it fits the bottom of your mold and once you're satisfied with that you can then go on to keep wrapping um, the fabric around the rope till you have enough for the body of the basket So to prevent the glue from sticking to the plastic or with the mold, whatever you're using, you need to wrap parchment paper around the mold. And so you stick the fabric on the parchment paper. So it's easy to peel off. So to start wrapping the fabric around the mold, you just apply your glue and you place it on the mold and you just keep going around in circles, gluing and turning and gluing and turning <laughs> and just going in circle until you get to the height that you want basically. It's very, very, very simple. You're done with the hardest part now this is the easy part the hardest part was wrapping the fabric around the rope and the easy part is just making the the basket itself in a circle like just glue it <laughs> that's it So take your time with this one. Just keep on applying the glue and um, wrapping your fabric rope around the mold that you that you're using. And once you're done, just secure the end of the rope inside the basket by gluing it with the hot glue gun. And you're done. You can just place your plant in it well you can remove the parchment paper or you can leave it inside i tried as much as possible to get um the parchment paper out but i still had some left which is it doesn't matter i'm gonna place my plant in it and i have my perfect basket planter <laughs> 
Uh, I never know what to call my project. Uh, okay, so this is it. Um, I use my scrap fabric to make this beautiful plant basket. I hope you give it a try. Let me know what you want to see me post. Um, give me DIY ideas and I will serve you with tutorials on it. Thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to share, like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.